Why is this so excited? Just like I'm opening presents. <laughs> it feels like Christmas. Hi, welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. I'm Judy. And I'm Michael. I got my stocking. Me too. That means today we are going to talk about board game stocking stuffers. <laughs> Yay! So we have 10 board games that mm -hmm. will be great stocking stuff for ideas this mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now I want to be very clear, this is not a top 10 list. Mm -hmm. These are just 10 board games that we think are great for stocking stuff. Yeah, it's good for family. Yep. It's good for kids. Yep, there are some kids games it's in there. It's good for non-gamers. Yep, there's some, some pretty um, entry level games. What else? Um, yeah, just that we kind of have a few games <laughs> for everybody. For everyone. There is always a game for everyone. That's right. So let's take a look at 10 board game stocking stuffers. Do you want to go first? Yes. Okay. So this one is tiny and is epic. <laughs> yes. Is tiny, epic tiny. galaxies. Epic galaxies. But... We also have other ones. Yeah, the whole tiny epic series actually would be great for mm -hmm. stockings because they're the perfect size. They're great for families. They're just, uh, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. So there are dinosaurs, um, mm -hmm. zombies, mm -hmm. galaxies, pirates, and max. Yep. Yeah. Even some that we don't have yet, but. For me, this is collectible. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice series. It's a nice it's collection. It's good for traveling. It's good for if you want to pop into your friend's house for a quick game. And I think they're just perfect for stockings because, you know what, they fit in here, but you can just pull it out and even play it on Christmas Day. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Tiny Epic series are um, published by Gambling Games. So, that is the first one. Okay, so the next game is another series. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of different themes that you can choose from for just for the right gift for that wow, person. another collectible. Yeah, so it is the Exit <gasps> series. Wait a second. Yes. Wait a second. We have more of them too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I think Exit, these Exit games would make a perfect stocking mm -hmm. stuffer. Um, obviously, like we said, they are the right size, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's a game that is great for board gamers. Yes. Uh, it's for non-board gamers mm -hmm. can even play them because yes. they're just nice puzzles where you're just going through the game, trying to find the clues mm -hmm. to solve whatever the mystery solve is. Solve the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. It's I mean, almost like escape room. Well, kind exactly. Of. That's why they're called Yeah, that's exit. what is it. <laughs> so they already found their many other... Um, different theme, like yep. you say. Yep. This is published by Cosmos. Cosmos. The next one is really fun, is in our kids' board game collection. Okay. But there's only one of them. <laughs> and this one is... Sleeping Queens! Yeah, this they is love a... love it. We, they, our kids love this game. And to be honest, I had a lot of fun too sure. when I played with them. It is a pretty good game. But this would be more mm. of a stocking stuffer for the kids in your family. Sleeping Queen is a card game and the theme is great. It's great. It has um, kings and queens and dragons and knights and uh, magic potions. Mm -hmm. And wands. Yeah. Um, and it's also good at teaching math as well. Mm -hmm. So to get rid of your cards, because you want to pick your cards in your hand, you can lay down one card or sums. Mm, yeah, right. For example, if you have two, three, and five, then it will be two plus three equals five. Mm -hmm. And you can lay down all three cards down together. <laughs> two plus three equals five. Mm -hmm. Do the math. But yeah. the theme is fantastic. Fantastic. And they love the artworks on those queens. They sure do. Yeah. So Sleeping Queens um, is published by Game Right Games. Mm. So if you're interested, go check it out. Okay, the next game, if I didn't have it already, yeah. I would put it on my Santa list for my stocking. <laughs> yeah, good thing I already have it. It is the Castles of Burgundy, the card game. Oh. Mm. What a great little game. Yeah. Um, so this would be perfect for that Castles of Burgundy lover in your family. Um, How could you not love it? Well, that's true. How could you not love it? Exactly. <laughs> but you know what? I actually think that the good thing about Castles of Burgundy, the card game, is that 
it really feels like the Castles of Burgundy, the game. It really feels like it, but it makes but it- But in cards. But in cards, yep. And it makes it a little bit more accessible because mm -hmm. let's be honest, the Castle of Burgundy, while it's not overly complicated, yeah. it could be a little bit intimidating if you're not used to playing board games. Yeah, especially for its time, it could be overwhelming too. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But basically Castles of Burgundy, the card game, it is like the Castle of Burgundy, the board game, but everything is in cards and you're collecting sets, but it still has the farm animals and it still has the different buildings that give you different victory points. And although it doesn't have dice, it actually has the dice faces on cards. Mm -hmm. So it's everything is packaged in a really nice card game. And again, this is travel size. So you can just take it and go. Absolutely, yes. yes. This is, if, if you, if you love the Castles of Burgundy, but you're not gonna take the whole game with you, then you can just take this anywhere you want. So. Perfect. Yeah. So this one is published by Ravensburger mm -hmm. Games. And so if you're interested, go check it out. All right, we're gonna go on to the next one. Okay. Let me get in there. What is in your stocking? <gasps> this is fun. Okay. Similo! Oh, Similo, <laughs> yeah, another great game for the family. So we have more than one Similo. This one is Fables, mm -hmm. and here we have History. I think recently they just have new themes come out, so you definitely need to check it out. Uh, even a Halloween theme, which has different Halloween monsters and stuff in it, so which is fantastic. <laughs> this one is, well, the game, the game is published by Horrible Games. Yeah. It's not horrible at all. Not horrible at all. No, it's this actually quite great. so fun. And you know what's really great about this is that um, all of the different themes, you can actually mix and match them. Yes. So you can have all of, um, you can have one or two or three different themes and mix mm -hmm. them together. So how the game works is you have a set of cards, lay them out on the table, mm -hmm. and a person who's it, choose a card secretly, and get clues by laying the other cards down um, so other players can deduce which card is theirs. Uh huh. If you put the card the right way, that means the card you're thinking about is similar. Yes. But if you turn it sideways, that means the card you're thinking about is completely opposite. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else at the table has to discuss it and remove cards until there's only one card left. Yes. And if that's the right card, then you win. Yeah, if it's wrong, then obviously you lose. Yeah, this, it's fantastic. These games, those two that we own anyways, um, our kids love it. Mm -hmm. Our kids love it because I really can give good clues. <laughs> <laughs> they realize they, they don't know what I'm thinking most of the time. That, yeah, it's so funny. Sometimes <laughs> you have to be on the same wavelength and sometimes it just doesn't work out. No. But you know what? Like the art is really cute. It's it's very clear and mm -hmm. easy to see. And yes. our our kids' favorite thing is picking the cards that they love. The, yes. Like, oh, I love that. And our daughter wants the Cleopatra card all the time. Yes. And yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's a great game. Fantastic. Yes. So it's very family friendly, yep. kids friendly. Yep, check absolutely. It out. Absolutely, go check it out. Okay, the next game I have in my stocking. Actually, there's a couple different versions of this one as well. Um, okay. We happen to have one of them. Okay. But there are other ones that you can you can check out. And it is mm -hmm. from Pandasaurus Games, <gasps> and it is the game. The game! <laughs> this one is the game face to face. Mm -hmm. The other one is just the, the game. game. The game is cooperative. Mm -hmm. The game face to face is head to head, mm -hmm. face to face. Yes. And uh, it's actually, it's very simple to teach and learn. Mm -hmm. But it's not that simple to play. Brain burner. A little bit of a brain burner. <laughs> so both of them have the same concept. One, you're working together as a co-op. One, you're yes. against each other. But all you're doing basically is you have two piles. You have an ascending deck and a descending deck. And you have a deck of cards that go from one to 60. Mm -hmm. And all you're trying to do in face-to-face -face anyways on your deck is you can only put cards that are higher than the previous card yep. on the ascending deck. And you can only put cards that are lower than the previous card on the descending deck. Mm -hmm. And there are ways to bring other cards in your hand. And mm -hmm. if you're the first person to get rid of your whole deck, mm -hmm. you win. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But it's really strategic because you can mess with the other person's piles yes. and stuff. So there's a, it, there's this, a bit of this, spice to it. This one hurts my head. Yeah, it's <laughs> really fun. I love fun. it. It's very crunchy. It is very. And look at, look at how small. <laughs> it's just a deck of cards. Well, this is two decks of cards. Mm -hmm. It's two decks of one to 60. That's yes. it. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Such it's a great idea. Fantastic. Again, I think this will be good for kids because they're numbers. Yeah, yeah. Very simple. Uh, I mean, 
yes, good for kids, but this good is for family too. It's not a kids game. I mean, anybody can play this game. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. All right, my turn. What's in why your stocking? Is, why is this so excited? Just like I'm opening press. <laughs> it feels like Christmas. <laughs> All right, this one is really fun. It's Sushi Go. Uh, classic. I think everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> or I mean, Sushi Go Party could be in this in this group yes, as well. Yes, but yeah. I just couldn't shove that whole box <laughs> in there. It's kind of big. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Again, this is from Game Right Games. Yes, yeah, another Game Right Games. Yes, um, we have a bunch of cars of sushis mm -hmm. that we can see yeah. and some desserts mm -hmm. that we can see. Yeah. And you're rotating. Yeah. Card, yeah, you're card drafting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it is card drafting. And when you get your cards, like you said, there's all different types of sushi and each kind of sushi scores points at the end of each round. Mm -hmm differently mm -hmm. and you are collecting the cards the different sushis to collect the points but as they collect points differently you really have to be careful about which cards you're going to give to the next player because mm -hmm. you take one and pass the rest along mm -hmm. so you're looking at your tableau of sushi mm -hmm. but you're also you also need to make sure that your opponents you're not giving them good cards for them as well Ooh. yeah yeah it's really fun so it could be a little bit tricky. It is tricky. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Family friendly. Yeah. Go check it out. Okay, my next game is another classic. This one is... <laughs> love Letter. And I know that Love Letter comes in different packages. Yes. Um, some are in boxes. But the one I have is just in this little pouch here. And it... It is, like I said, it's a classic. It's been around for years mm -hmm. and it is one of my favorite filler games ever. You can play it with two players, but mm -hmm. it, I think it is better with more players. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's literally just a deck of cards that have different characters on them. And you are you have two in your hand at a time and you're going around the table, laying the cards down, activating whatever their ability is. Yep. Like, for example, you can guess what card another player has and mm -hmm. if they have that card they're out of the game or you can peek at other players cards or you can switch cards and if you are the last person standing yeah you win the game mm -hmm. or when all the cards are gone whoever has the highest card wins the game and that's one round and you play a couple of rounds and it's fast it's easy to teach yeah it's fantastic and it's easy to carry too. And you it's just easy put it in to the carry. Pocket. Yeah, no, I think this is just I, it's such a good game. It's like I said, it's one of my favorite filler games mm -hmm. ever. 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 <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my next one, I'm going to dig. Oh, do I dip down? Deep into the stocking. Taco Caco Cheese Pizza. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Can I say it any faster? Taco Cat. Goat, cheese, pizza. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is published by Blue Orange Games. Mm -hmm. Very good. They have all other series as well. Yeah. So you have to say different words. So basically oh, this right. game, yeah. <laughs> this game that comes with all the cards of taco, mm -hmm. cat, mm -hmm. goat, cheese, pizza. Get out of town. Yes. <laughs> you have evil, um, not evil, you have even number of cards on your hand. Um, face down. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you go around the table and you say it in this order. You have to remember it. Yeah. If not, that's okay because you're facing down. You can see on the back of a card. That's true. So you're saying taco and the next person cat, the next person goat until what you say is what's shown on the table. Yeah. Then everyone has to push each other away to smack <laughs> on that card. Because you don't know what cards are flipping over because they're face down. Yes. So you go taco and it might not be a taco. No. And some pictures are very similar. Yes. So that On might... purpose. Yes. So <laughs> that gives me heart attacks sometimes. <laughs> it just totally. made me jump, like scream. Yeah. So not just that easy though. There are three cards that made me jump and scream even louder. <laughs> which are... Gorilla, mm -hmm. that means you have to, and then smack the card. And then smack the card, yeah. Yes. While I do that, I don't have time to smack the card. <laughs> I don't know how kids can do that, but they did. They're very good And there it. is also Groundhog. Yeah. Pound on the table, smack that. Yeah. And there's also Narwhal. You do that, smack the card. Yeah, hilarious. It's that simple. Yeah. But it is so much fun and 
we always chuckle and scream, yeah. scream, yeah, and a just laugh so hard. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, this. Let's be honest. This is uh, for a family of with kids. This yeah. is a kids game, mm -hmm. but it, our daughters love it. Yes, they absolutely adore this game because it's. I mean, it's I hear them playing all the time, and it's just screaming <laughs> and pounding and laughing, and oh, it's so. Funny. It's so fun. It's yeah. fun. It's fast. It's yeah. small size, yeah. and there are many other themes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they do come in themes, yeah. and it will be good for party, for totally. non-gamer. Yeah. Yeah, for a beginner. Absolutely. Anyone can play. Yeah, I mean, there's no strategy involved. It's just, just, it's just fun. speed. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> and try not to scare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Great, cool. So that is Taco, Cat, Goat, Cheese, Pizza. Okay, and deep down in my stocking, the last game I have yeah. is Deep Sea Adventures. Fun. This is a really fun, another really quick filler game. Mm -hmm. It is super fun. Mm -hmm. It's a little push your luck game. And, and what you're doing is you're all in the top, you're in a submarine yep. or you're in a boat and mm -hmm. you're trying to dive down and collect treasures by rolling dice down the path. Mm -hmm. But every time you go down and collect treasures, the air supply runs out. Mm -hmm. And that air supply isn't for you. That air supply is for everybody that's playing. So the trick is you have to go down, but then you have to get back up before the air runs out. So it's this push your luck of, do you want to keep going to get more treasures? Because if you don't make it up, you lose all your treasures. <laughs> you might not even come back. So you might not even come back. And you know what? There are sometimes where nobody comes back up because oh, everybody right. ran out of air. It's, <laughs> it's really quick. Yeah. It's a good laugh. It's mm -hmm. super fun. Push your luck. It's a great little game. That is Deep Sea Adventures. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So that's all the 10 stocking stuffers. Yeah. Now, like we said before, there are so many other great ideas out yes. there. And we would love to hear them because guess what? These are games we have. Yes. Why don't you give us some ideas of other stocking stuffer games that maybe we can get for each other this Christmas? That would be great. Leave a <laughs> comment down below. Absolutely. Please leave comments of all the other games that you think would be great stocking stuffers. Yes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when we post more videos. Sounds good. Until next time. Go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye. Bye.